we present the method we have adapted for periprostatic nerve block before doing transrectal ultrasound guided prostate biopsy. Studies have shown that about 65 to 90 percent of the men report pain during truss guided prostate biopsy and the pain is believed to be due to penetration of the prostate capsule by the biopsy needle. The neurovascular bundle supplying the prostate is located at the base of the prostate just lateral to the junction between the prostate and the seminal vesicle. This setup for prostate biopsy. Patient is placed in left lateral decubitus position and initial digital rectal examination is performed. Transrectal ultrasound probe is gently inserted and the prostate is initially evaluated for identifiable pathological conditions both in transverse and societal views. We use 7.5 MHz transrectal probe which can scan both transverse and societal views simultaneously. Ten ml of one percent lignocaine is our choice for periprostatic nerve block. The injection needle is passed through the transrectal ultrasound biopsy needle port and the tip is positioned at the base of the prostate at the junction between the prostate and the seminal vesicles. Simultaneous transverse and societal views of the prostate facilitates correct positioning of the needle tip. The syringe is aspirated before injection to ensure that a vascular structure has not been entered. We infiltrate the neurovascular bundle on each side with 5 ml of 1% lignocaine using outer sheath of the biopsy needle. Proper positioning of the needle tip is confirmed by observing the deposited local anesthetic solution causing separation of the prostate and seminal vesicle from the rectal wall. The injected local anesthetic takes few minutes to produce its effect. During this time, we measure the prostate volume. Then we proceed to systematic biopsy of the prostate using automatic spring-loaded biopsy gun with 18 gauge true cut biopsy needle.
to evaluate the benefit of periprostatic nerve block, we prospectively enrolled 100 patients divided into periprostatic nerve block group and control group. Pain was evaluated immediately after the biopsy using Wang Baker Faces Pain Rating Scale. Mean pain score of the patients getting periprostatic nerve block was 2.24 whereas it was 5.10 for control group who did not get any form of anesthesia or analgesia. This difference was statistically significant, p-value being less than 0.001. In addition, the proportion of patients who had mild or no pain was significantly greater in periprostatic nerve block group in comparison to control group. Since first described by Nash and colleagues, there is now growing acceptance of this method of periprostatic nerve block for control of pain during prostate biopsy. In conclusion, we believe transrectal prostate biopsy is a painful procedure and the method of periprostatic nerve block we adopted is easy to perform and significantly decreases the pain associated with the procedure.